and then it clips in. So it doesn't seem like it's gonna break apart unless you um, do what I just did. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the bathing suits that I got for $10. Um, I'm probably going to pronounce the name of the website wrong. Um, I think it's Zafool. I always call it Zafool because, I don't know, I guess I just like calling people fools. But whatever it's called, I'll put um, a link to the website in the description. I wish I didn't do this, but I unfortunately... Okay, now my dog wants in. I unfortunately chose to buy two of the exact same bathing suit without knowing what it was like. Um, because the picture was really new, bleh, bleh. the picture was really nude. The picture was really nice, so I thought I liked the shape and everything. So I bought two of the same one in different colors without trying it on first. I wish I hadn't done that, but I did. Okay, so the red one I got, I think I got it, yeah, I got it in a size small. It has little, don't mind my nails, they're horrible, but it has like a little, um, crease. It looks nice when you have it on. I'm going to probably show the video as well, but it looks nice. And I like that it doesn't have the back buckle because oftentimes the back buckle comes off. What I don't like is that it has these. The strap buckles. Strap buckles just... <sighs> strap buckles are a life ruiner and I'm sure lots of girls know, like, it's a common thing on bras to have strap buckles but strap buckles come undone all the time and in fact when I was shooting a video trying this on I was trying to show that there was no back buckle and then the strap buckle popped off so that just goes to show that strap buckles are not not the best and when I was buying this it like it didn't I don't think I was really paying attention to whether or not it had strap buckles or not but now I know anyways Besides the strap buckles, I do like the top. The top is really nice. Um, what I had a big problem with this one was, is the bottoms. They, I have really, I have really narrow hips and like, it's hard to explain, but this bathing suit is just really long, <laughs> as you can probably tell when I'm holding it. It's just, it's long. It didn't look like this in the picture when I ordered it. Um, I didn't know that it would be this long, but I tried it on anyways, and I have to wear it with the straps pulled, like, almost all the way up to my hip bones. Otherwise, it cuts off my hips, and it makes me look like a complete box. And then I notice that when I do pull it all the way up, there's a whole bunch of, there's, like, too much fabric in the back and it goes like all the way up to my, like a weird position on my back and it just sits there and then it goes, like I guess it's supposed to kind of go like kind of, kind of up your butt a little bit because that's the style, but it's just there's too much fabric here and it's just, it looks a little bit weird, but if you like adjust it the right way, it can look, it can look okay. I noticed that these, it's, they're very, like, it's not that stretchy, so it cuts into your your hips, and especially if you carry a significant amount of body fat in those areas, like most women do, like muffin tops, stuff like that. Like, I do. I'm not gonna deny that. But uh, these straps are so tight, it tends to, like, make you have a muffin top, like a double muffin top. The next one, which my dog just sat all over, is the exact same one, but in black. Um, basically the exact same thing has, look, the strap came off. And I didn't even do anything. It just came off. Like, this is why I don't want to wear it swimming, because I feel like the straps are just going to blow off, and then I'm just going to flash everyone at the pool. I think I actually like the red one better, because I feel like, I feel like when I wear the black one, it's just, I don't know, I feel really, like, washed out by it. I feel, I feel like the, the bathing suit doesn't bring out me or my body. I feel like the red one definitely, definitely is much more me and is more flattering in terms of color. Moving on to this bathing suit. This bathing suit I also got for $10 from the same website. 
Um, this has probably been the most trustworthy bathing suit of them all. Um, reason being, there are no, <laughs> there aren't any strap buckles. It's just this little circular thing and then the straps are on there. Like they're not going to come off. There is a back buckle. It's these ones where you just go like this and then it clips in. So it doesn't seem like it's going to break apart unless you, um, do what I just did. Um, yeah, but I actually, I've worn this one multiple places. I wore this tubing with Tyler down a lake. I wore this to the pool. I wear this everywhere. I actually wore this to the water slides with Tyler. Like, it's been really trustworthy. It hasn't come off. Nothing. I haven't had any issues with it. I do like this bathing suit, and I don't really have that many bad things to say about it. Like, the way that it fits here. Normally, I have a tough time with the top pieces of bathing suits because I'm very small. Um, this one was actually very flattering the way it's kind of like, like, a just the way that it holds, I'll show the video, but the way that it holds, it's just very flattering for me. One thing that I didn't really like about it was the bottoms. I mean, I do like the bottoms. I like the way they sit. I like the way that they're comfortable. They're not too tight. They don't tend to ride up. But to this day, I don't know, I don't know which way to wear them. And I don't know which one is inside out. And like, it's just all the same. There's a tag, but I don't know what side the tag's supposed to go on. So like, you don't know front from back. So you could be wearing the butt side on the front or the front side on the butt and just it's kind of confusing. I wish I knew how to wear it properly, but I mean, it kind of looks the same either way, so it's not really that big of an issue, but I do like this. And I also really like the color. Color is a big thing for me because a lot of colors with my skin tone, I just look really bad. And this one seems to really complement my skin tone. I feel like that's really important when picking a bathing suit. Definitely pick a color that's going to complement your skin tone. Which brings me to the final bathing suit, the one that I spent $100 on before I discovered this website where you can get them for 10 It is from Ravish Sands. I have seen so many bikini girls on Instagram wearing these bikinis, looking so good, and I just wanted one so bad, so I went on the website, and they are expensive. They are really expensive, and like... It was a purchase that I wish I didn't do, but I'm glad that I did because now I know that I know the difference between a $100 bathing suit and a $10 bathing suit. Honestly, it's really, there's really no difference. Um, but yeah, let's get talking to this one. So this one, it's small. It's really small. It's size small, but it's like teeny small. And I guess that's partly my fault because of the style that I chose. It's also scrunch butt, so it goes like up your butt a lot. But you can choose to get different styles and different cuts. And I chose to get a pretty promiscuous cut, which I wish I didn't do because now I don't feel comfortable wearing this to the pool. Um, it's very small down here. It's very small everywhere. Once again, the reason why I did choose this one was because of these straps. It was beginning of summer and I wanted to wear this tanning and the straps are, these kind of straps are good for tanning. You don't get horrible tan lines, or like thick ones, you just get a solid tan line. The top is a little bit controversial. It's pretty small. It did come with padding. I'm going to say that it came with padding that you put in the top. I took the padding out because there was so much of it. Um, it definitely accentuated some things, but I just did not feel that comfortable with, the, with that much padding in, so I did take it out. I do like there's a little jewel in the middle. You have to tie it up yourself, and you have to tie it up in the back as well. So there's no buckles, there's no no back buckles, no strap buckles. Um, 
this does not stretch like it's it has a little bit of give to it but not much so when you put it on and you tie it around your neck it gets pretty uncomfortable and really really tight because it doesn't stretch with your body movement I noticed that these when I put them on they like to do this <laughs> and then you end up flashing someone the reason I chose this one with the rainbow is because it was probably the cheapest one I could find on the website and I just did not have enough money at that time. After shipping and everything, I paid $118 for this bathing suit. For these three bathing suits, I paid $50. That's including shipping, including everything. And I wear these ones way more than I wear that one. I'm not saying that Ravish Sands is bad. I'm not saying that they don't make good bathing suits. This bathing suit, like you can tell the quality. I definitely noticed when I first put it on, I was like, okay, yeah, this is a sexy bathing suit. Like this is what it's for. It is a sexy looking bathing suit. Like I wouldn't wear it to a water park. I wouldn't wear it to the pool. I would wear this if I was going to lay on a beach or do a photo shoot or just want to look good in a bathing suit. This is definitely one that I would go for. However, spending $120 on this bathing suit versus spending $50 on three bathing suits that I wore all summer and lasted me and I feel comfortable with. I think it's safe to say that I will definitely be shopping with this website again. Zaful or Zaful. I don't know how to say it honestly. Yeah, I hope you guys found this review helpful. Um, I can surely do more and I'm just glad that I finally got around to doing it and I hope that it helps you buying a bathing suit. Um, subscribe, leave a like, comment what you want me to do in future videos. So I will see you guys in the next one.